Hey, I hope you're doing good. It's Chris here from Six Dream Finger Picking. In this lesson, we're learning how to play Buckets of Rain by Bob Dylan. For this one, you want to place a capo onto the second fret and put your guitar into open D tuning. So that means down tuning both of your E strings to the note of D, down tuning the B string to the note of A, and down tuning your G string to the note of F sharp. If you get the tuning and the capo on, you're good to go. Really hope you enjoy the lesson. If you do, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, so let's jump into it and start learning how to play this classic Bob Dylan song. So the first few bars of the intro go like this. Okay, so what I'm doing there, holding down the first fret of the third string and the second fret of the top string. Okay, so that's what you wanna do. And you're going to play the sixth string and the third string together. And then play the top string. Okay, and then you're going to play the fourth string. So, so far. And then once you get to there, slide up these two frets here. So the first string and the third string. Slide them up two frets. So slowly, that's... One and two and, and that's a bit fiddly, but just practice it a whole bunch of times and of course you're going to get it. Okay, then you're gonna play the sixth string and then the fourth string. So for the vast majority of the song, your thumb is just alternating between the sixth string and the fourth string. Just doing that. So, so far. And then we go back to here, and all you really need this time is the first fret on the third string. Hold that down and play strings three and six, followed by two, then four, and then the top string. But as you play that top string, also pull off the first fret of the third string at exactly the same time. So it's a bit fiddly, but it sounds like this. So really slow. And if you listen to the track, you just hear that tiny little note there making an appearance. And then after that, play string six and four. So really practice that because it appears many times in the song. And eventually, up to speed, is going to sound like this. So you do that twice, and then you get... So what you want to do is you want to hold down the first fret on the third string, and the second fret on the second string. Hold that down and play the third string and the sixth string together, followed by the second string, the fourth string, and then the first string. So that is. Then play the sixth string and the fourth string. So. And then we get this bit, which is quite tricky. So what I did, to get into it, I just quickly play the second string, second fret. And then I use my little finger to play the second fret on the top string with the bass. And pull off your pinky to open. So it's like. Now if you want to, you could keep your bass going between the sixth and the fourth string. But if you really listen carefully to the song, my ears are telling me that he's playing the third string uh, on this little part here. So instead of 
I'm hearing. It's a tiny difference and it's probably optional, you know, if, if you're uncomfortable doing this then just play the fourth string. But if you want to go ahead, there, after you've done that pull off, play strings two and three together. Okay, three with the thumb. And then open top string, and then hammer the second fret on the top string, and as soon as that comes down, play the bass note of the sixth string, like that. So that's hard if you've not done that kind of thing much. It's hard to get that hammer and picking at the same time, but you've just got to practice it. And then again, pull off that second fret. So you've got like that. But then again, we're going to play strings two and three, and then open top string. And that's kind of that little fill there. Okay, so let's have a bit of a recap and let's go from the beginning slowly. Continuing from there, we've then got two bars here. So um, I'm still holding down the first fret on the third string, and you want to start by playing the sixth string, then the fourth string, and then three and six together, and then two, four, one. So that's like that, and then play six, four, and you can play string one and six together, and then open three, and then open four. So that is all together. From the fill, And then for the last part of this section, we've got So we've still got this bass just playing string six, four, six, four, six, four the whole time. And on the third string, you're going to play the seventh fret. And on the first string, you're also going to play the seventh fret. So with those two held down, play strings. Uh, three and six together, and then one, so, and then four, and then three, so, and then slide this seventh fret here down, you can slide the whole shape down two frets, and as soon as you get to the fifth fret on the third string, play a bass. And then play the top string, the fourth string, and then the third string. So. And again, you've played the third string and do the same thing. Slide down that third string, fifth fret, to the third fret. And once you hit that third fret, play the bass. Like that. And then open top string open fourth string, open third string, and hammer the first fret on the same string. And as it comes down, play the bass on the sixth string. Like that. So it's tricky. And then play strings two, four, open. Like that. So, and continue just by playing string six, four, 
first fret on the third string with the sixth string, and then two, four, one, and then six, four, six, three, open, four. So like that, okay? So if we add that onto here, you've got So that's how you play the intro and also this, what we've just learned, it appears many times in the song. The verse, which you're going to learn, which you're going to learn in just a second, is very, very similar. There's just really just one small change, which I'll show you in just a second. But here is the, this section, this part, this intro, whatever you want to call it, once more. So the great news is you've now learned the vast majority of the song. There's still a few other things to learn, but you've you've definitely done the hard work. Moving into the verse, there's just one very small difference to be aware of. So it starts the same. And then here. That's the only difference. So instead of doing the fill, Instead of that, we're just arpeggiating the chords slightly differently. So we land on this shape here. Remember that's the first fret of the third string and the second fret of the second string. Hold that down and play strings three and six, then two, then four, then one. So, and then six, four. So that's the first bar. And then three and six, two, four, one, and then six, two, four, one. Okay, so. That's it. That's the only difference. So. rest is exactly the same as, as the intro, which is great. So the verse is actually even easier to play than the intro. The only other part that you want to be aware of is the small instrumental section where you'll hear So instead of the, you're playing. And then the rest is exactly the same. So it's a tiny little nuance, but you, 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 you gotta get it in. So that's the 10th fret on the third string and the 10th fret on the top string. Hold that down and play strings three and six, then one, and then the fourth string and then slide that shape up two frets to the 12th. So that's exactly the same as this, but just here. So then play the fourth, the sixth string, sorry, then the fourth, and then open third string, and hammer that down to the first fret, play the bass, and then second string, fourth string, and then top string, pull off, the third string to open. So, and then sixth string, fourth string. So that's exactly the same as 
this bit. Just with a little hammer on. So once more. And again. So sometimes what you'll hear is, so you do what we just did, to there, bass, and then you can play the top string again if you want to, and then the fourth string. So like, instead of just, okay? Minor difference, but he does throw it in there from time to time, and you can too if you want to. But then the second time, again, just straight back to. And then into our fill. And then just continue as, as we've already learned. But that's the whole song. And it's just kind of interchanging between those parts. If you listen to the song, you'll hear it and you'll work out the structure pretty quickly. But that's how you play Buckets of Rain by Bob Dylan. All right, so that's it for this lesson. I really hope that you've enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Check out some of the other videos I have here on my channel and head over to sixstringfingerpicking.com where I've got hundreds more fingerstyle guitar lessons and a whole bunch of fingerstyle courses that you can take if you want to invest in your playing a little bit more.